Okay, screw department over there. And here we have screw presses. We are Events Incorporation. It is the 21st of March, 2025. And this is our test area. Boy, are we gonna have fun today. I've got one press, two press, three, four presses, five presses. We've got three samples to run. We're now wetting down this fiber, uh, fabric. That'll be our fabric test. We're gonna use this press. It's a 10,000 slot screen. And we've got it running fairly fast. Uh, and um, have an oversized motor on it, two horsepower. Uh, that cuts down our service factor, but we're doing this test. The other samples we have are tofu. Uh, it's very, very cold. And this we just took out of the refrigerator. This is micellum. And uh, we're going to run these and see what can be achieved. I just got asked to inspect these machines. This 8 inch shredder and a uh, CP4 press going to Ireland. Okay, we got this started. Press gate coming out. Very low pressure. Okay, having given up on tofu, we're uh, starting to put in some fiber. We're running at 60 hertz and 20 psi cone pressure. You see water coming out, free water draining out. This is a continuous slided screw with double thickness of the screw flights. So it is heavy duty besides having an oversized motor. Motor full load amps are six amps and uh, we were running uh, a hair over three at no load. How's it feeding? It's feeding well, it just it, surprisingly it bridged a little. I didn't anticipate that it would. All right, we can. I saw some flexing of the screen, so it's going to be a tough test. Okay, I'm starting to get some press cake out. So, by the way, when you get it, you can still see a little bit of the screw back there. You're definitely okay. There comes okay. That's some um, tofu coming out. Oops, excuse me. There's tofu coming out. And the cone's going open at 20 psi. Cake starts to fall away. What are the amps doing? Idle. Idle amps. Still a little over 3 amps. Okay. No cake came out for a while. All right, let's add a little bit. Uh, well, it's packed in solid. We're up at three bar air pressure, same speed. And it's definitely drier. I can't squeeze any water out. And it seems to be feeding. I'm going to run a capacity test. Yep. Okay, we're in our time test. And the cake is coming out consistently. Uh, we're one minute into the test. The amps over here uh, four and a half. So uh, might have even gotten by with a one and a half horsepower motor. And so this is the operation. We'll run our entire sample since I'm doing a time test, get the most accuracy. 10,000th slot width working fine. Full uh, 60 hertz, probably 20, 22 RPM is fine. And um, press cake looks dry. Check one more time. It's definitely dry. And it was wet at 40, 20 PSI. So we're at 45, okay. Okay, um, we just put, recently put in a bucket that had a lot, very much more dilute, or it's a little drier now, the free water has run out. Uh, doesn't matter much on the concentration if we have excess water. The cake consistently comes out at the same percent moisture content. Uh, also, this is a continuous flight at screw. That's the reason 
Yeah, last time we used this press we uh, damaged it and we damaged that one on fabric. But here we've got one that worked. The amps are noticeably low, still running around four uh, on a six amp motor. Bit of a plant tour here, working on food, and this, this is where we weld out. We've got lots and lots of screws, and uh, we've got the chaffer one there, and there's sliding special uh, splicing together two pieces of the screw, cutting some knots components by serial number. We used to have plasma cutter. Now this is all done with lasers and water jet. Uh, and we get into the assembly department. Uh, the wall in the back wall is where they do frames for presses. And uh, in here is the assembly. I see a fiber filter and a, and a shredder. Those auxiliary machines that go along with our screw presses, but uh, there was a 16, here's a 10 or 12, 10, 12.